a, a woman is, you know, is taking his child in a stroller and pushing the stroller and they're walking in front of you. You're not that person. You're simply aware of them. Same thing is you are aware of thought patterns. So you cannot be your mind if you're aware of thoughts coming and going. You cannot be it because it becomes an object. You're simply aware as, as an object coming and going. Exactly same thing with your emotions. Jealousy comes and then jealousy goes. A sense of being lonely comes and goes. Fear appears and disappears. A feeling that you have not accomplished in this life appears and disappears. And this body is constantly changing. And you've seen it. It grew, it started growing, growing when you were five years old, nine years old, 13 years old. You see the bodies growing, changing. You get to puberty, it starts to really shift and change. And it's like, you're like, what's going on? It's changing. It's shapes literally changes in front of your eyes. During the puberty, you are observing your body's changing from what it used to be to something else. And then as you know, you're growing, you get to your 20s, 30s, you have vitality, you're strong, you have a lot of energy, your digestion is good, you have your hair, you got your skin, and then you start getting older and you can see it's changing right in front of your eyes. Oh my God, I'm losing my hair. Oh my God, you know, I'm getting all these weird stuff. I'm getting all these wrinkles or I'm getting all these pains and aches to a point that sometimes they have to take you to operating table and cutting a piece out of you. So you see it's changing, change. Everything is changing, but it changes in front of who? Who is observing this change who is the witness of it to whom does this change appear and disappear not to whom it happens to whom does it appear and disappear because the true you the real you once you recognize yourself and understand who you are does not change The real you was never born and is never going to die. It's just been here always. It's always here. It's always in this state of meditation. Hmm. It's always here. It doesn't change. It's the presence. So we're identifying with the wrong thing. We're identifying with what comes and what goes. And we're completely ignoring, ignoring what is always here. Until our attention begin to go in that direction. For me, I needed my teacher, my spiritual teacher, my guru to come and guide me and pushes me inwards. Some other people may get it on their own. But when I came across this understanding, of course, it took time for it to settle. And then eventually I started to realize that I am free. I am always free. Yet, as a human being in a body with the mind, with sensations, yes, I get cold, I got to put a jacket on, my body gets hungry. 
my emotions. As a human being, I need touch. I need affection, love. As a human body, you have needs and ups and, ups and downs. But as awareness, it's needless, timeless. It's always here. It can never be threatened. So now we're in this shift, we're in this moment in our lives that something is shifting, the attention is turning inwards. And we're discovering freedom, true freedom, that we are really free. And that's priceless. Because it only happens to a very small number of human beings in every lifetime that they begin to recognize their true nature. Otherwise, you stay completely identified with your story and the world's story. And of course, you get recycled. Or it seems to be. So we're all in very, very good hands. There's nothing to worry about, nothing to fear about. We stay in this place of acceptance and trust that our Holy Father, our Holy Mother, the Creator, Her Majesty, the Supreme Being, Consciousness, Yahweh, Ahura Mazda, God, whatever name you want to put into it, is got you covered. You're completely taken care of. There's nothing to worry about. Stay in this place. Remind yourself every day. Feel it. Taste it. That you are completely taken care of. That you're exactly where you need to be. that existence loves you immersely and you are love yourself. Go beyond the mind, dive into the heart and feel the presence, feel the love which is here. Feel the love that you have, feel, feel your power. And don't give up your power to fear. Stay in this place, regardless of what kind of story you're hearing from the utter world or what you're seeing, come back to this place, come back to the beauty of yourself, the presence, the God that lives in you, and remember it, and your fear disappears. And your quality of life changes because the mind becomes quiet. You're no longer in this place because the mind wants to go crazy, especially now. If you're not trained, your mind will drive you crazy. What's going to happen? Da, 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 pandemic, future, banking system, money system, this, that, my family, blah, 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 blah. It just keeps going and going and going. All right. Any questions? Anything? Any comments? Anything you feel like sharing with me? Hi. Hi. Can we talk to you after academy in yes, Persia? Yes, sure. Yeah. Stay. Stay okay. here, and we talk. Yes, we can do Thanks. that. Yeah. You're welcome.